hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k plus 3 whole square is equals to 9 and we solve this problem for all the values of k and at the last we will be verify that which of the values are solution and which of the values are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in the first method we solve this problem with the help of square root so here uh, we need to take square root on both of the sides and when we can apply square root on both of the sides it will be written as k plus 3 whole square and its square root is equals to square root of 9 and further in the next step you see here this 2 and this k root are cancelled out by each other and we will get here k plus 3 is equals to here we know that square root of 9 becomes here 3 further you see here when we apply plus minus sign on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign any one of the side when you apply square root on both of the sides we write plus minus sign any one of the side uh, and now here in the next step we break this value into the two cases the first case is we write k plus 3 is equals to plus 3 and the second case is we write k plus 3 is equals to minus 3 and from here we get this is the plus 3 when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes minus 3 and we easily get the value of k is equals to 0 so this is our first root of the given equation and from here we again move plus 3 to the right hand side and it will becomes minus 3 so we easily get the value of k is equals to minus 3 and minus 3 becomes here minus 6 so this is the value of k uh, second value of k so here from this method we get there are two values of k uh, and in the next step we need to verify that is both of these two values are satisfied our given question statement or not so for verification of these values we need to copy down given question statement here it is k plus 3 whole square is equals to 9 and in this side we will be verify k is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify k is equals to minus 6 so further in the next step we substitute this value of k into the left hand side and it will be written as 0 plus 3 whole square is equals to 9 and you see here 0 plus 3 becomes 3 square equals to 9 and we easily get 9 is equals to 9 so this shows that both of the sides are equal which means that the first value of k equals to 0 is satisfied our given question statement and now we move towards our second value of k and now we put k equals minus 6 into the left hand side and it will becomes minus 6 plus 3 whole square is equals to 9 and minus 6 plus 3 becomes here minus 3 square equals to 9 and minus 3 square becomes 9 equals to 9 this also shows that both of the sides are equal when we choose k equals to minus 6 so this means that uh, the second value of k is also satisfied our given question statement so it means that both of these two values are satisfied so uh, here we finally conclude about that and the solution set of this question is 0 and minus 6 so this is the final solution set which we get here from first method and here we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is uh, k plus 3 whole square is equals to 9 this is our given question statement and here in this method uh, we first move the term from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as k plus 3 whole square this is plus 9 becomes minus 9 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as k plus 3 whole square minus this is 9 we write it as 3 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here we use the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so this is 
the nice formula and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so here when we substitute the value of a is k plus 3 it will be written as so after applying this formula we will get here this is uh, first we have a minus b the value of a is k plus 3 minus the value of b is 3 only into a plus b the value of a is k plus 3 and the value of b is 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this minus 3 and plus 3 are cancelled out by each other and we get here k only and from here we get this is k plus 3 plus 3 becomes the 6 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write k is equals to 0 and the second case is we write k plus 6 is equals to 0 so this is the first root of the given equation and from here we get the value of k is equals to minus 6 this is the second root of the given equation so again you see here in the second method we again get both of these two values are same so in the first method we already verify that both of these two values of k are satisfied our given question statement so we will get here the solution sort of this question is 0 and minus 6 so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos